Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMesito.com and who's LloydMesito.com? Today I just want to address a controversial issue and the controversial issue is the bullshit women give. Now I, I've met a lot of women, lots of women, uh, more women than you can ever imagine and I like meeting women but what happens is women tend to, they have this kind of pattern where they repeat themselves like a bloody tape recorder and all of them sound the same, all of them sound the same. Okay, I'm not saying most of them. I'm saying all of them. Okay, uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to give you the top five reasons, top five uh, reasons or the top five bullshit women give men. So I'm going to give you those bullshit and it's conducted by a scientific survey that I conducted myself. Okay, now the, f the, the foundation of this is simply, um, you know, simply this principle. Women like to position themselves as victims. Now they talk about feminism, they talk about equal rights, they talk about all this big hala gula bula. But in the end, women like to position themselves as victims, especially when, when they want to attract the man, okay? Because they need a man in their life. You can't help it, they need a man. Others, how else do you procreate? How else do you give birth? So they like to position themselves as a victim. Now the first bullshit women give, first bullshit is, Oh, I loved him. I loved him, but he cheated on me. Okay, this is the first bullshit women give you that they loved him so much, but the guy cheated on her. Now, let's understand this. Why did the guy cheat on you? Well, one, maybe because you're pathetic and boring in bed. You're really, you suck. You, you're absolutely horrible in bed. The second one is maybe you're smelly, stinky and horrible. Maybe you're fat and ugly. Maybe you're out of shape. Maybe you're uh, uh, woo -woo -woo -woo. the person can't even tolerate your personality. That is why he cheated on you. That's why he went and got someone better. Maybe you just put on a facade of who you are not. And that is why he decided it's time for me to get something better. And so he said goodbye to you. So that's that's the first thing. But women will always say, oh, I loved him. Oh, I loved him. But he cheated on me. Well, he cheated on you because you suck. That's as simple as that. Okay, principle number one. The second bullshit that women give you. Oh, he never spends time with me. Listen, what do you want him to do? 24-7 spend time with you? He has other important things to do in life. As it is, he spent all his time, effort and money trying to win your heart over. Now he got you. So after he gets you, what do you want him to do? Always like, you know, it, it's as simple as getting a brand new car. When you get a brand new car, you take care of it. You make sure that you understand the car. You get to know the car. And once you get to know the car, then it becomes like a household thing. You know, you, you don't spend time in, ooh, is there a small scratch? No, you the car and you have an understanding with each other. So once he gets you, he spends time with you, he sees you, he has sex with you, he eats food with you sometimes. What do you want him to do? Sit on your lap and uh, be breastfed by you? Come on, grow up women, grow up. He doesn't spend time with you. <laughs> he has other better things to do like reading a book or meeting some intellectual friends of his. So that's why he doesn't spend time with you. You don't have brains. Simple as that. The next one. Oh, he never talks to me. I have not met a single woman on the planet who can intellectually talk with a guy for more than an hour. They talk bullshit. They just talk the womenly stuff. They talk the feminine stuff, you know. Oh, how's my nail polish? Oh, how's my hair? Oh, did you know I bought this new outfit from there? Oh, my friend, she's not talking to me. Oh, oh I want to meet my aunt. I have not met women who actually have intellectual discussions where they talk about the stock market, where they talk about the careers, where they talk about something smart. And if such women do exist, well, they are very rare. And if you get a woman like that, don't let go of her. In fact, I have met women, I've met, not that I've never met. I have met women like that, but unfortunately, those women are, uh, what can you say? I don't know, they're either not interested in men or they're busy focusing on their career. So the women who look for partners, the problem with them is they don't speak anything worthwhile. They just speak nonsense. And the women who are worth speaking to, they just end up as friends. Some of them are maybe gay, I don't know. But those women are very rare. I met a few of them, just one or two, but I don't think they were married. Were they married? Were they dating someone? No, because they're focused on their careers. Yeah, so the rest of the women are all looking for partners and they're all sad stories.
Then, the next one. The bullshit women give. He always spends time with his friends. My dear, the reason why he spends time with his friends is because his friends give him interesting company, interesting conversation, and they have something worthwhile, you know, to discuss, to talk, to, you know, do things. For example, can a female play a PlayStation or Xbox? No. Guys like to play such stuff because it's intellectually stimulating. They don't like what soap operas like you do. They don't like to, you know, watch romantic, stupid stories. It's so... Ugh. That's why he spends time with these friends and not with you. And finally, the last bullshit that women give. Oh, he doesn't have sex with me. He doesn't have sex with you because you suck in bed. You're terrible. You're pathetic. You're horrible. And most important thing of all, you need to understand this. It's like, if I were to eat pizza every single day, I would get bored. So, one day pizza, next day seafood, third day something with chicken, Next day, something with beef, you know, variety is a spice of life. So the problem with you is you are just one single dish. And after some time eating the same dish over and over again, he gets tired. So what you need to do is improvise, learn, grow, develop. So this is, these are rather, these are the five bullshit women give normally to men. What they're trying to do is seek sympathy, pity, empathy from us men. And for those men out there, young boys especially, don't fall for this. Women will always give you this bullshit. They'll always tell you this nonsense. Get over it. And understand that if she gave you this bullshit, she most definitely will give someone else this bullshit. And always keep in mind that she had another partner. Then she'll have you as a partner. And after you, she'll have someone else as a partner. So it's a story that goes on and on. So be smart. Don't fall for their bullshit. And remember, this is Lloyd Messier telling you the five top bullshit women give you every day. If you have any views, comments, let me know. And girls, relax. Take it easy. We men will give you opportunities.